Oh my god Cowboy Nation. Out now. Urgent information. Just left. Fans go crazy with this news. You won't believe who's coming up on the Cowboys, can celebrate. But before sharing this news with you, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the progress of this contract, because we'll have everything up to date. Cowboys a landing spot for former $70 million pro bowler, says analyst. Star corner Patrick Peterson has long been linked to the Dallas Cowboys, but could 2023 finally be the year the eight-time pro bowler lands in Big D? Cornerback continues to be a position of concern given the team's lack of confidence in former second-round pick Kelvin Joseph and Anthony Brown sustaining a season-ending Achilles injury. Outside of Trevon Diggs, one of the few bright spots in the secondary has been the emergence of rookie Darren Bland, but the Cowboys could still stand to improve the depth chart. Peterson is a free agent this offseason and has played on affordable one-year deals in Minnesota for two straight seasons. The three-time All-Pro signed a one-year, $4 million contract with the Vikings last offseason, well below the five-year, $70 million deal Peterson played on while with the Cardinals. USA Today's K.D. Drummond identified the biggest areas of need for the Cowboys to address in free agency and has Peterson as one of the top potential targets for Dallas this offseason. Already leave your like in this video, so you don't miss the latest Cowboy news we posted here. Thank you very much. Trevon Diggs will be eligible for an extension with just one year remaining on his rookie deal, Drummond wrote on December 27, 2022. He's going to get paid, whether it be this year, next or in 2025 after a franchise tag. The spots surrounding him are what are in question. Anthony Brown is done for the year and his contract is up as well. Jordan Lewis is done for the year and has one year remaining. Kelvin Joseph doesn't appear to get it, but there's a chance Dallas feels confident in the outstanding rookie season of Darren Bland and hopeful about second-year player Nash and Wright. Peterson previously admitted his dream was to play for Cowboys. Peterson has not been shy about his affinity for the Cowboys admitting during a routine December 10, 2021 press conference that his dream was to play for the Cowboys. So far, the Cowboys have yet to make this dream a reality but the star corner is still playing at a high level in his 12th NFL season. Growing up, I always saw myself being an NFL football player, Peterson said at the time. My dreams were to be a cowboy, but at the end of the day, that didn't happen. Still got time on the table because I think I have some tread still left on the tires. But I love the game, no matter who I'm playing for, and I'm going to bring that same intensity no matter the organization that I'm with because I feel that I'm a born leader. Peterson has been one of the top NFL corners in 2022. Peterson has played a key role in the Vikings being one of the top NFC teams this season. The veteran corner has 58 tackles, 14 pass deflections and 4 interceptions during 15 appearances so far in 2022. Peterson's 4 picks are his highest number since the corner posted 7 interceptions with Arizona in 2012. Signing Peterson would not just be a token gesture for the Cowboys as the former pro bowler has earned an 80.3 grade from pro football focus for his play this season. It marks Peterson's highest grade since 2018, and the star corner should generate plenty of interest from teams this offseason. Spatrack projects Peterson's market value as a one-year, $6.4 million contract, a more than affordable number for the Cowboys. Hey Cowboys fan, in your opinion, Patrick Peterson would be a good signing for the Cowboys or not? What's your opinion? Put it in the comments because it's very important for the Dallas Cowboys. Stay tuned because at any time I update you on the latest Cowboys news.